Um, so this is a rant. You know how I do it. Just a uh, random talking. Today is October 11th of 2013. I'm sure that will be post uh, stamped somewhere in this video. I'm looking at this lovely tree across the street um, from my house and I'm just thinking about how things start very small and given time they exponentially increase uh, or at least you know most biological life forms increase at a rate that is near exponential uh, i.e. Uh, a zygote into a full-grown human, which in turn replicates, and creates multiple organisms. Uh, similarly, a tree, you know, starts as a small seed and grows into this monumental figure of nature. There was a recent study um, conducted by a uh, economist from India. It's a TED talk. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to reference this or Google it. So it talks about the interconnectedness, or yeah, I guess that's the correct word, interconnected nature of the financial market, specifically uh, capital, uh, investment capital. I guess maybe a better analogy uh, or a better metaphor for the fucking simple minded out there would be a string of dominoes that upon one domino falling another one does and if that one should happen to affect 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096. Does it loop at that point? Does it keep going or do I, I mean, do I have to start doing more math? It's not even my major, folks. I just married a math major. I like talking. Love talking, y'all. Okay, so basically, the way I'm saying it, is the Tea Party did not mess around, okay? They did exactly what they promised. They said they were going to shut down the government, I mean, something like four years ago, and today it's shut down. I mean, they're like the only politicians I've ever seen that actually tell the truth. Because Obama said he was going to close that there Gitmo in Cuba, but lo and behold, Gitmo is still open. Tea Party fellas said they're going to close the government, and there's just a few of them. I mean, just a handful of congressmen, maybe a couple senators, and they closed that government down. Same government that's been fighting wars all over the planet, destroying people's homes, burning the skins of brown folk everywhere. Dang on thermite. You ever see shit just frag a whole grid square? I mean, I'm like, raise your hand if you've seen that one. You ever seen stuff just, like, take out a whole grid square? Shit, who knows what a grid square is? Where are we at? Four minutes and 20 seconds into this thing? Who actually knows what a grid square is? Which one of you fellas knows what a grid square is? Please post in the comments, like, and subscribe. Why is it that independent thinkers like Bernie Sanders, Jesse Ventura, to some extent, John McCain and, and Ron Paul, who are both very independent, um, at times independent figures within their party, why, why is it that these people get ostracized? You know, why, why, we gotta ask ourselves, you know, are we gonna just 
forget why, let's just say how. How, how is it that this ostrac uh, ostracizing occurs? You know, obviously a cut to funding. These men being politicians need to compete with other politicians who have purchased uh, or have in their name purchased radio, television, internet. Time. Time is money. You can purchase time. As absurd as that sounds, you literally can purchase time. YouTube pays us for our time in that people who click likes or watch things contribute to the content creators and curators of YouTube. That's kind of how it functions. So tell your friends. We don't have that long to actually tell your friends, so I'm not particularly that worried. Um, I'm not trying to be fatalistic at this point. It's just it's like watching a clock tick down for those with uh, long-sightedness. There's a wonderful man named Max Kaiser um, who, besides having his own endeavors, regularly commentates on television networks, uh, news media outlets. Don't take me for a joke, kid. I'm no comedian. Too many mental problems. Um, so yeah, there's that. I wanted to just do a poem. I wanted to just like sit here and maybe just bust out a poem for about a minute, and I realized there's just there's there's more important stuff than something I wrote 10 years ago that's pertinent today, you know? Somebody said it best in the comments. You know, no, nobody cares anyways. Nobody, nobody's listening. Nobody really wants to know. It, it requires, like, a bit of... Um, a little bit of gumption, boy. This guy has some gumption. There's a thing called um, Bitcoin. A lot, um, you know, it kind of grew in value over time as more and more people knew about it. <coughs> Interesting how value works. You know, humans place value upon things. What is valuable to you? No, it's hard, it's kind of hard to determine value. You got to have a discerning eye. I will teach you a way today because you've listened to eight minutes of rambling, uh, in which to uh, a way in which to linguistically um, analyze. At least your own thoughts and feelings, um, thoughts and feelings about objects or, or ideas around you. So let's let's just let's just try this with a random sampling, okay? You can say the F word, ing. So let's just go with. Okay, get ready. Fucking lighters. You know, fucking lighters, man. Yeah, that one's a little bit vague. You're like, what does he mean? Like, okay, what's the connotation? Coffee. Fucking coffee. Oh, yeah, by the way, Butterfly Labs. Great company. Highly recommend looking into Butterfly Labs if you have not already. Or you could say, like, you know, let's say it's particularly bad coffee. Okay, so you've got some just dank, so sour coffee or something. Ah, fucking coffee. Right, that, implying that entropy is uh, an issue that only coffee uh, has to deal with. But, yeah. So, yeah, you can just try this at home, you know. Just you know, you add political parties after it, you know. Uh, in that case, they're all, they're all pretty much going to be negative, you know. Except for, I tried this recently, and actually, it, it has some really, like, surprising results. Because let's say we just do, like, a, you know, or, or you do a food. Fucking nachos. Okay. So let's do it with uh, political parties. I just wanted a good example of uh, positive, just as a uh, frame of reference. So, fucking Democrats. Fucking Republicans. Fucking Tea Party.
them fellas said they were going to shut it down. They did. All B. See, I, that's that's a real fun one. <laughs> Watching a small block of admitted like a power uh, like a, a party that's not even in power shut down the government. I, I'm I'm really impressed that like by the control uh, that we all have because. Normally, you think government shut down and people would be in the streets, like, you know, trying to get where they could to survive. Instead, people are more concerned with what the latest incarnation of Madonna, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera is now. Myri, My, 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 Miley, how do I say Myri? I, I really, I feel bad for the Asian people that have to become part of this fandom. Myri Cyrus, how do I say this? Myri. I feel like it's that Justin Bieber kid all over again. Kendrick Lamar got Eminem back into the rap game. I swear on the street. Kendrick, Le Kendrick Lamar like pretty much single-handedly like just took the paddles, like the electric paddles, clear, poof, to the rap game. He did one diss verse, and people like, you know, everybody just, oh, that's right, I'm, I'm supposed to be a rapper, man. I'm, damn it, I, I forgot I am not paid just to go to professional ball games. It's the most magnificent tree. You don't need to check out a tree and just observe the fractal pattern in, it's all, in all its glory. Oh, yeah, fractal pattern. Gosh, 11 minutes in. Thank you so much, YouTube, for giving me over 10 minutes. I have no followers, nobody views my stuff, <laughs> but for some reason I get over 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so the fractal pattern, fractal geometry, fractal math, uh, mathematics, it's, it's a field you, sh you really looked into um, if you're ever going to say the word algorithm. Because if you know about algorithms, but you don't know about fractal geometry, how? Oh, and an end point. Um, I hung out with Google Security, like a few people from the Google Security team recently, um, where they call themselves corporate engineers or some weird title they had, which I assume means something of high rank. Um, and these people just really are really, um, what's the word? Oh, complacent about security. Like, you know, just consumer feedback about, um, encryption levels. And I was talked down to as if I didn't understand how two uh, large complex primes were utilized to generate keys. And that's really ridiculous. You know, that's, it's just, a, it shows a very condescending um, mindset amongst Google developers. I'm not going to mention names, but I think if they saw my face and they saw this video, they would know who they were. Because, I mean, oh, the privacy team, that's what they were, a privacy team, not a securities team. Yeah, okay. You people can do URL exploits on Google Plus and access users' private albums, private photo albums. So tell me again how your encrypted like uh, uh your encrypted keys uh that utilize a methodology that's inferior to Twitter's is sufficient for my ease of mind. Nah. Um, okay. So, hey, um, in the last little minute here, I'll just send a shout out to the intelligence community operating in Afghanistan and the Northwest Pakistan region. Um, with recent, um, budget cuts and what I anticipate to be a neon swan, um, you know, in, in the same genus as a black swan, you know, I'll look this one up. Google Neon Swan. Um, with these uh, events coming to light or being the light, you may want to um, allocate some resources to um, a mode of travel to, like, you know, return to the country of your choice before it's too late. 